Hey golf people, on today's episode I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is that some of those missed putts out on the course aren't necessarily your fault. It's the fault of the balance in the golf ball. And I've got some bad news in the fact that you might be spending money on a ball that's actually hurting your putting. We're going to do a little DIY science fair project on this episode as we look at the balance of golf balls. I'll show you how to check the balance of your own balls. And then we're going to see if the leading ball on the market, the number one ball in golf, is actually any better in terms of balance than the cheapest ball. And you'll find out why I'm standing outside my swimming pool. It will all make sense, I promise. Let's get into the video. So it turns out the process to find out if your golf ball is balanced balance is super simple and really all you need are a few things. You need some salt water, which is why I'm standing next to this pool. You're going to need a cup to put that water in. You're going to need a Sharpie marker and maybe a towel to dry it off, but it's really all you're going to need. It's very simple. The first thing I'm going to do here is find out if my pool water, this salt water pool, it's not a chlorine pool, it's a salt pool, is salty enough. The density is enough that this ball will float. Let's find out. We've got our sample there. So I've got my water. I'm going to take a golf ball here. We're going to drop this thing in and see if this golf ball will float. Oh no. It didn't, it went right down to the bottom. So this water is not going to be salty enough. Now, like I said, I got a salt water pool, so I've got these bags of salt, and this is probably the best salt to use. You don't wanna use table salt because that would make it really cloudy, but this pool salt is nice and clear and it's inexpensive to get your hands on. So rather than buying one of these kits on Amazon, you can literally just go down to your pool supply store locally and find this salt. You don't have to get this big of a bag, obviously. In fact, maybe they'll just give you a handful if they're nice. Uh, and you can test this out yourself. So what I'm gonna do here is take this ladle and I'm gonna get about two scoops of this salt here. I'd say this is about a quarter of a cup. So two scoops is going to be a half a cup. And then we're going to go ahead and mix this into our water solution here. And we are floating. <laughs> So it was about a half a cup of salt there, and now we've got this ball floating, and we can continue here with the experiment. All right, so we're gonna take our golf ball here. This is my Encore Vero X1. These are my gamer balls. We're gonna go ahead and put it in our salt water solution. You can see it's floating. And what's gonna happen is when that thing comes to a stop, I'm gonna take my Sharpie marker, and I'm just literally going to mark exactly the point on that ball that came to the top. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this ball again, and we're going to see where it comes to. If it came to the green dot over and over again, we know that this ball is out of balance, but that actually came to a new spot. I'm going to go ahead and spin this again, and we are in a new spot as it comes to rest. I'll spin this thing again, and that's about where the green dot was. We'll spin it one more time. And that comes to another random spot. So four spins there, I randomly spot checked it. And basically this ball is in balance. Now, if this ball was out of balance, it would keep returning to that green dot every single time. And that green dot would be on top showing every single time. All right, guys, now I'm at my friends Edwin Watts here in North Tampa. I'm going to go ahead and buy a box of Pro V1s the top of the top end ball. And then we're gonna find the cheapest ball that Edwin Watts sells. I'll just pick it at random, whatever's cheapest. And we're gonna go back home and test these dozens to see if there are any discrepancies with those balls. Let's do it. All right, they sell a lot of balls here. So we're gonna get the most expensive balls and the cheapest balls. These are definitely going to be the most expensive balls. So we'll get a case of the Pro V1s. And then we'll search for something here that's super cheap. Noodles, pretty cheap ball. Ultra is even cheaper, $14.99. This is the cheapest ball inside of Edwin Watts. So we've got the most expensive ball. We've got the cheapest ball. All right now there is a ball here, the Chrome Soft X, that they tell me has been laser checked. And there you go on there. It says precision technology to combat exactly what we're talking about in this video in terms of a ball that's off center. So I'm gonna go ahead and also take this dozen of Chrome Soft X and we'll put this one to the test as well. Okay guys, we're back. I've got my Titleist Pro V1s. I've got the cheapest balls and we've got those Chrome Softs that are laser checked. We're gonna start here with the Ultras, the cheap balls and see how many out of this box are perfectly balanced and how many have some issues. Let's find out. All right, first one going in, we're gonna get it nice and wet. We're gonna spin it around. We're gonna see where it pops to the top and I'm gonna go ahead and place a mark on it with my Sharpie. Then we're gonna go ahead and spin this one. 
it comes to a different area. I'm going to spin it again. It comes to a different area. Spin it again. And it's close to the green remark, but that's a different area. So this ball is definitely balanced. All right, so that's six balls perfectly balanced from Ultra. Again, a $14.99 ball here. Next batch going in. We've got the threes. There's our mark. Ooh, we came up to the green there. We came right up back to the mark there. Let's try it again. Whoop, this one's coming back up to the green again. I'm gonna spin that thing again. And look, it's coming back there. We found our first ultra, guys. I think that is out of balance. It keeps coming to that little green mark. I'm gonna put it in our little pile over here of bad balls. Bad ball, bad. Let's try it again. Ooh. <laughs> Definitely this area is of concern, I'd say, because it keeps wanting to come back to about that spot, as you can see. We're gonna spin it again here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, wants to come back there. All right, guys, there's our second Ultra Ball. And our second number three, that's a bad ball. Bad ball. Out of this 15 balls, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven that were good balls. We've got one that's eh, and we've got three that are definitely pretty bad. Now, let's go ahead and try this box of Pro V1s. These are the Pro V1 ones. We've got it in there. Gonna go ahead and get our mark on that baby. We're gonna give this a spin inside the water. We'll give it a spin inside the water. Looks like it's come to a pretty random spot there. Go ahead and give it another spin, another random spot. We'll give the Pro V1 another, another spin in there, another random spot. That is a perfectly balanced golf ball, guys. Ball number two going in. Give it a mark there. I'm gonna give it another spin. Ooh, we're back to our green there. Let's give it another spin. Uh-oh, we're coming back to the green again, guys. Let's give it another spin. Oh, the green is right there. Let's give it one more spin. The green's back on top. Guys, I think we found our first Pro V1 from this dozen, that's a bad ball. Bad ball. That ball, the green came up again. So this ball seems like it has a couple of balance spots. I'm gonna go put this in the decent pile. So now we've got our good, our bad, and our decents. Decently bad or decently good, depending on if you're an optimist or a pessimist, I guess. And this one came right pretty much to the logo, so that makes it easy to see. We'll put our dot there. Give it another twirl. That one came to the green again, guys. Let's do that again. Oh yeah, it's wanting to come right back there. Wow, that is not good. Not good at all. Guys, this is shocking, but the Titleists now have three balls, this one being the worst defender for sure, that are definitely not perfectly balanced. Wow. <laughs> to me, I'm really shocked. I don't know about you, but I'm really shocked. That's another ball, guys. <laughs> another bad ball. We've got four, four bad balls, guys. Two that were not so great, and six in that dozen. Again, random dozen from Edwin Watts. You saw me just randomly pull it off the shelf, so 
That's a little scary to me, I've got to say. There you go, guys. That was random cases of balls. The Ultra had three out of 15 that were bad. The Titleist actually had four and maybe even six that were not up to, in my mind, perfection. And that to me is a little bit concerning for sure, especially since one of those sleeves, it was the sleeve number two with the number twos in it, all of those balls were not very well balanced. That's really scary. Okay guys, here's the Chrome Soft X. These things again are supposed to be verified with precision technology, basically a laser that looks into these balls and makes sure that they're completely centered and round and up to spec. Let's go ahead and test these babies out. Okay guys, we are 12 for 12 here with the Callaway Chrome Soft X. These were definitely the winner. These were the best three, the most consistent in terms of having no balls off center or out of balance. Well guys, what do you think? I gotta say, I am really surprised that the Pro V1 of all three balls was actually the worst in terms of balance. That I would not have expected in a million years that the Ultra would have a better balanced ball than the Titleist. Now, I'm not saying that every single case that you pull off the shelf is going to be that ratio by any means, but the fact that you could pull one sleeve out of the Pro Shop and all three balls be out of balance, that definitely does scare me because I've done that a few times. And the fact that you're kind of playing the lottery is a little scary to me. Now, I do want to give a big thanks to our channel member and friend of this channel, Steven, who actually turned me on to this ideal about golf ball balance. It's been such a fun video to make, so thank you, Steven. And if you've ever got ideas like this, guys, feel free to either leave a comment down below and send me your ideas via email. I'd always love to read what you're interested in. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Please do hit subscribe and check out this video, another video on DIY hacks about golf that I think you'll really enjoy. There's five amazing hacks in there. I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.